In those first few months out of treatment, I used to be so self-conscious about my looks and also about my physicality, which had all gone just down to nothing after all this treatment. I ended up using my sickness as an excuse to not go out because I was so afraid of what other people would be thinking about me, of all those stares I was getting. And yeah, slowly and surely, I was starting to feel more lonely and more and more lonely as I stopped you know, going to parties, going out with friends. I stopped even wanting to see my friends <laughs> who, who did actually like me because I was worried, well, what are they thinking about me? And that self-consciousness, I think, that was the first hint of depression that I was getting because I ended up being so lonely and so at home and so just down about everything. But after a while of that, and I took a step back and I just questioned, well, why was I feeling crap? Why was I feeling horrible and alone all this time? And I realized, well, at the end, I was just worried about what other people were thinking about me. Right? It wasn't my actual sickness that was stopping me from going out. It was that worry of what other people would be judging me. And I looked at that and I asked myself, well, why was I worried? Why was I afraid of those other thoughts? Because first of all, most people who were looking at me, well, they weren't even thinking anything bad at all, right? Those stares I was getting, they were just like maybe a casual stare right? Or just like incidental. They may not even be looking at me at all. And I think most of all, those stares were actually imaginary. I was worried so much about what other people were thinking about me that I'd make more people be staring at me in my own head because I was so self-conscious about it all. And most people, they didn't mean anything bad. Most people, they, they just didn't care. Second of all, those people who did think, well, what a weirdo, or those people with my friends lists or stuff that may have been thinking, well, this guy's so awkward, so weird, so disgusting, he looks so bad. Even if they were thinking all those things, why was I letting someone else's judgments and thoughts about me stop me from being happy? <laughs> because in the end, if they did mean me bad, if they did like, you know, think I'm a weirdo, well, first off, why was I letting them win? <laughs> because by me not being happy, by me not going out and just staying at home and just not being exposed to people, like that was just stopping me from being happy. But second of all, if they were thinking those things, then why should I care about their opinions? Because in the end, they didn't know me. They were just judgmental people. Why should I let their opinions even matter to me? So in the end, I realized then at that point, well, okay, those people, I wouldn't care about them. From now on, I'm gonna start just doing what I wanted to do and not worrying about what other people were thinking. And I mean, that process, it didn't happen straight away. I didn't just go out and become this outgoing guy, like, and, you know, just a YOLO person in one day. I just started off by walking around the suburb again because I'd stopped doing that for a long time because of that fear. I just stopped doing those things that was ultimately affecting my health, right? And then I started saying, hey, to a stranger, hey, how are you? Good morning to good day, all that sort of stuff. And then I started, okay, let's go out to those parties again. And I'd start just, you know, talking to people and worrying less about others. And every time I fell back into, oh, what if that person's thinking weird of me or something like that? I'd just take that step back and question, well, why did I care about all their opinions? And I just, slowly over time, I just became so much more self-confident and stuff after that.